us down a first on CNBC interview is Roger Penske, is chairman and founder of the Penske Corporation, and Mark Miles, president and CEO of Holman and Company. Uh, guys, good to see you again. You both know that I'm a lifelong fan of both you guys and what you do. This came out of the blue. Roger, how did this develop, and why are you making this transaction? Well, I think, Brian, I, I go back to 1951 when my dad brought me here to the Speedway and to think about, uh, I guess the DNA was injected at that point. And over the years, uh, success here at the Speedway, it helped us build our brand. And I guess your dreams come true when you get a call from Tony George to come and see him, Mark Miles, about the thought process of maybe having the opportunity to buy the Speedway. Obviously, a tremendous honor uh, to have the potential to be mm -hmm. the caretaker of these great assets going forward. So uh, I can tell you it's a dream come true. Mark, why, why sell? I mean, listen, rating, TV ratings, NBC Sports up 9%. Attendance is up. You got rid of those ugly cars from a couple of years ago. Seems like everything's kind of firing all cylinders. Why make the sale? <laughs> well, it really was the right time for the Home and George family. They're very proud of their uh, decades-long legacy. But when Roger indicated that he was, he was really interested and, and that became a, a, a possibility, it really made the decision, I think, for the family. And, and they voted unanimously as shareholders just yesterday uh, for this transaction. They, they see it as their baby, their family's heritage, and they understand that better than anybody we could imagine, Roger Penske and his family will take it to greater places for a very long period of time. Roger, in terms of those greater places, how do you envision building out this business? And I guess what does that mean for the long-term outlook for auto racing? Well, I think, uh, you know, today consolidations are taking place. Uh, there's no question uh, with the domain knowledge that we have within our company. You know, we bought the Michigan Speedway in bankruptcy back in uh, 1973. We built that into a real Speedway network. And what I want to do is take our domain knowledge, our people, and make it additive, uh, certainly with Mark. And we think that, uh, you know, with the support of our NBC uh, sports partner uh, in IndyCar Racing, and the things that we can do here at the Speedway, remember, the most iconic sport in the world, the biggest race. And I think what we need to do is, is really be the custodian of that and take the things that we can do together and take it to the next level. Because lots of media opportunities, I think uh, people want to use this Speedway for other things. So we want to make this an entertainment venue for the state of Indiana and the Hoosiers that love this place so much. Okay, do we go after, I guess, two holy grails then, Roger? Do you try to get a second NASCAR race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway? And I know a lot of people care about this. Can you pull off the double? Are we going to see a NASCAR IndyCar race, same track, same weekend? Well, that's been a lot of discussion, Brian, over the last uh, several hours. I guess at the end of the day, I'm not sure we'll get a second NASCAR race. But, uh, you know, combinations of IndyCar uh, uh, and NASCAR, you know, could be a possibility, but that's really up to Jim France, Steve Phelps, and, you know, obviously uh, Steve O'Donnell. Uh, these are things that we can talk about. We've spent the last six weeks with our heads down trying to bring this transaction together. So strategy and discussion with Mark and his team really starts tomorrow. So, you know, we're pretty excited uh, with the opportunities.